What is up everyone? I'm coming on here for a couple of plays for the weekend. I'm going to give you guys actually three plays in today's video um, and it's going to be utilizing a discount and then I also have a play that's full college football and then a play that's college, half college football, half NFL. Um, first of all, I do want to go over that we did hit this one on Wednesday. Um, actually, we hit it tonight, but I, I sent it out and gave it gave this as a play on Wednesday. So this was a YouTube play on Wednesday. What's crazy about this, you guys, actually, this was two minutes before the game started. This is what the lines look like. So we got Nick Evers at 164, and he bumped down to 142. We got him at a 22, per, we got 22 yard bump, 22 yard bump. Just think about that for a second. That is the largest bump I've ever seen. And uh, I think that I've even ever done in, in the history of me betting. I've never seen a 22 yard bump. I don't know what happened, but we got insane value here. He still went way under as well as Skylar Bell. He got bumped by five yards way under. Caster for 4.5x, which is good to see. Um, and then the Flex Friday entry that I sent out this morning uh, the first two man hit, okay. The Valorant two man hit. We still have a long way to go. We still need four. Um, we still need all four of these guys to have uh, hit for the night games tomorrow. But hey, man, it's something. Um, I will say with this little four man going on here, if you miss any of the plays that I that I have in today's video, so I have an I have the Ole Miss Arkansas game. I'm going to go over that, um, and that is a noon game. So if if you woke up late or you just watched this video late, you can just sub in that Ole Miss uh, duo that I'm going to give you, and you can sub in this Tennessee duo or you can sub in this USC duo. Whatever you want to choose doesn't really matter to me. These both these duos are really good. I would probably lean with the Tennessee duo if I were you. Um, but yeah, if you guys don't know what I do, I do correlated betting. So if a quarterback go if a quarterback has a really poor game, then his receiver is going to have a poor game, okay? And then vice versa. If he has a really great game, then his receiver is going to have a great game as well, right? We've all seen, you know, like Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, Dak, CeeDee Lamb, like all these great quarterbacks, receiver combos over the years, whatever it is, right? So this guy had a really bad game. His receiver had a really bad game. Um, he Actually, he just doesn't throw much, right? And then Aaron Rodgers, he went under. Brees Hall went under. We are also set up for this for tomorrow morning. I am hoping that this hits. I'm really hoping this hits. And no more three out of, no more three out of fours. Hopefully this broke the curse. Um, went three at three, I guess. Um, if you guys don't know, I'm a very profitable sports better. I'm up more than 300 units and that is on this YouTube channel. And then I also have a VIP where I sell picks. Um, but what I want you guys to do is you guys can actually get my VIP picks for free. The best way to do that is by utilizing this promo going on right now. All you have to do is text me the word bet to this number and I'll walk you through how to do this, the instructions. So if anything today that I'm saying, um, speaks to you, I guess. Definitely utilize this promo going on right now. Um, text me the word bet to this number. I'll just have you sign up for bet online, put $20 into bet online, and then take a $20 bet for Sunday. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to Venmo and cash up you back that $20. So it's going to be free for you. I'm paying you back to do this. And then I will get you guys onto my VIP picks for two months completely free. Okay. Um, all right, you guys. So let's hop into the plays. I don't want to talk too much because I, I have a lot. Um, I, I have a lot to go over, right? So first of all, the first play, and this is for you guys who are watching tonight or maybe early in the morning. Um, so if you're watching this after like 9 a.m. Central Time, I'm sorry, you might have missed out. But what they are doing, they actually have a flash sale on Prize Picks right now. So I want you guys to go to promos, go to opt in, and it's for League of Legends. Just take it blindly. It's a good bet here. Um, this line is normally 12.5. It's actually not. It's normally like a, it's actually like 11.5. Five, they inflated this a little bit. We're going to take the overs though. His line is a uh, discount. I know the discounts have been bad recently, but we are going to take it. Now, we are going to pair it up with a three man, okay? And that three man is going to come from the Georgia Bulldogs. And I'm probably surprising a lot of people, but I'm going to take Georgia Bulldogs unders in the game. So, the reason being, as I kind of as I kind of type some of these things in, right? Georgia Bulldogs. We're going to take Carson Beck, Carson Beck under. We're going to take uh, Aaron Smith under, and then we're going to take Etienne under um, receiving yards if we could find it. Yeah, so receiving yards under as well. So the theory being here is that the worse that Carson Beck does the worst that these other players are going to do here, right? So the worst that Carson Beck does, the worst that Smith is going to do, and then the worst that Etienne's going to do. So if Carson Beck comes out and he throws for, let's just say like, I don't know, 150 yards, then these other guys are not going to do very well, right? These other guys are not going to uh, get, de definitely not going to hit their total. Now, 
His line is 245, so I think he's probably going to more, you know, realistically throw like in that 230, 240 range. Um, but with Carson Beck, he's very hot and cold. And I'm not, by taking it under, I'm not saying that Georgia is going to lose. I actually think Georgia is going to dominate Florida even more than people think they are. Um, so that is kind of my big bet here. Um, I'm going to go back to Florida in a second. I'll show you guys why. Um, but the reason why I'm taking his under is because similar to Alabama last week, where I took Alabama all under, I took uh, Milroy under I took Ryan Williams under and I took um, Jam Miller under okay I paired it with the Russell Wilson discount unfortunately Russell Wilson or sorry not Russell Wilson I keep saying that Russell Westbrook unfortunately Russell Russell Westbrook sucks and he did not hit but we would have hit it if Russell Wilson hit the discount the thing about these teams is Georgia does not need Carson Beck to win okay we saw him win versus Texas and Carson Beck did not have a very good game versus Texas, okay? Now, that was at home at Texas, and he beat Texas without having a very good game. Now, he is playing Florida at home, and Florida is a much worse team than Texas, okay? So, this entry right here, I'm not saying that it is going to hit um, 100%. I'm not saying Carson Beck's going to go under 100%, but what I am saying is this pick is either going to go terribly wrong or it's going to go right, okay? It's either going to be really, really, really bad where Carson Beck throws for over 300 yards and all of these guys go over, um, or it's going to be really, really good and he does go under and all these guys go under because uh, UGA does not need to utilize Carson Beck or the pass game at all because they are playing a freshman quarter back in DJ Langway. Okay. So I am doubling down on this game and you'll kind of see it later. Okay. So, um, I'm doubling down on this game. I really think, I really think people are wrong about this Georgia and Florida game. I think Georgia is going to dominate Florida. Um, I don't know why Carson Beck's line is so high because I don't think at all after the second half, he's going to have to throw at all. Now, if you really, really disagree with me, you can take all the mores and I'll be fine with that too. Like I'll be happy with it. If you want to take all the mores, I don't like it as much as the lesses though. I think there's a good chance just like Bama. If you look at the Bama game last week, um, do a little bit of research. The Bama game last week, they still put up over 40 points. Milrow, Ryan Williams, and Jam Miller all went under their lines. So I think the same thing is going to happen here. This is the first pick of the day. Um, again, you're lucky if you're watching this before nine because you won't have access to this. I'll say that night play on League of Legends, I don't even know if he's going to be here. But if if you're watching this, um, well, I guess you're going to be watching it after anyway, so it doesn't it doesn't even matter. But you can also take night under. Night under, and then you can kind of middle them together. But we're not talking about League of Legends in this video. We're talking about college football right now. So... Next play, you guys, we're going to go to Jackson Dart, okay? We're going to go Jackson Dart here, and then we are going to go um, Caden, what is his name? Caden Lee. Jackson Dart, Caden Lee. So Trey Harris has been out for two games. Caden Lee has gone way over his line for two games, okay? So if you guys don't know, Jackson Dart, Trey Harris, the beginning of the seasons, the first, the first four or five weeks of the season, I would take Jackson Dart, Trey Harris every single week. Trey Harris would get over 100 yards, over 150 yards every single week like clockwork, and Caden Lee is now filled in that role. His line is way too low at just under 50. Um, he is now filled in the role of Trey Harris. He's not the receiver that Trey Harris is, so he's not going to get 150 yards, but he might get 70 or 80, okay? Jackson Dart, I still believe in him. I still think he's one of the best quarterbacks. These guys are on a path to um, glory, okay? They need to win out. You guys have all seen that that video of him like looking like Anakin Skywalker. And I think what I like about this game is going to be a pretty close game, okay? It's going to be a high-flying game. There's going to be a lot of passing. And the main thing I like about Ole Miss, they're like LSU. LSU and Ole Miss are probably the best two teams in college football because they live and die by the pass. If the pass is not working, they keep passing. If the pass is working, they keep passing also. So they just keep passing over and over again. And Jackson Dart is a key to that um, to that success. Even if they are up high, up up by a lot in the game, Jackson Dart keeps passing. So I really like Jackson Dart. I'm going to keep with him. Um, and then this is what I'm talking about where I'm doubling down. Okay, this is my favorite play of the weekend. DJ Langway and then um, what is his name? Badger. Yeah. Elijah Badger right here. Most most of all, DJ Langway. I just want to read you guys out some stats right here. Let me go to DJ Langway and let, let me just pop this up. So I just want to read you guys out some stats. Verse, the, these are all the teams that are notable that DJ Langway played against, okay? And he normally came in as a backup. He played versus Miami. He went th uh, three of six with one interception for 31 yards. AM, he went six for 13. 54 yards, two interceptions. Tennessee, he went nine for 17 with... Um, uh, 98 yards and one interception. Okay. So against three teams that are top, you know, 15 teams, 
he did very poorly. He had very bad completion percentage. He got under 100 yards and he threw interceptions. Okay. Now he is playing Georgia at home. A freshman quarterback playing Georgia at home. I will say, obviously, you see the, the elephant in the room is this huge green candlestick right here. The thing about this is he only had seven completions on this game. I think he was like seven for 19 or something like that. They had 60 plays in this game. He only got seven completions out of 60 plays. Three of those plays were uh, contributing to like 170 of those yards, okay? So without those three plays, he had three deep balls all for like a, about 50 to 60 yards each. Without those three deep balls, he would have went well under this line here. Now, I know that's saying a lot, but look, he's playing Georgia. This is not Kentucky. I know he just played Kentucky. And he went over. I give Kentucky's defense the respect it deserves. But he he is playing Georgia at home. I can't emphasize this enough. He's playing Georgia at home, and this is a freshman quarterback. Just take the under, and and just he he might have the opportunity to to throw like three or four picks right here. Um, again, this is my favorite duo right here. Um, I'm pairing him up with a receiver. I don't even think this is his number one receiver. Um, I think this is number two receiver. But these guys, um, Kamir Dyke, and then. Uh, Badger down here. I just like Badgers under a little bit more. So taking this together, um, again, I think this Georgia and Florida game, I don't know why these lines are so high. I don't know. I, I, I feel like I feel like Langway's line could be 150 and I wouldn't even blink at it. Okay. So this is the second play. Um, it was Dart and then it was uh it was Dart and then it was Caden. And then what what is that guy's name? Okay, it was Dart, Caden Lee, and then it was Langway and Badger. Okay, so hopefully you guys got it. You guys can go back in the video if you want to. Um, and then the next play of the day, this is going to be the last one here. We're going to take Josh Hoover over, and then we're going to take Jack Betch to go over right here. Where is he? Jack Betch. This is kind of one of those things. Don't think about it. These guys are just really, really good, and they are not playing a very good defense, and this should be a high-flying game right here. This is classic Big 12 football. Josh Hoover, Jack Betch, one of the best duos uh, to pair together because they're just a high-flying duo. There's a lot of times earlier in the season that Jack Betch gets it gets 150 yards. We, we see 166 yards right here against the Mustangs. Um, and yeah, really like this duo here. Um, not going to go too into it. This is just one of the best duos you can find in college football. And when a guy is getting you know close to 30% of his quarterback's yards, that means that he's really, really good. And that means he's a big part of the offense. Now, NFL... I told you guys, I don't really like betting on NFL too much this year, um, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to give Baker Mayfield the benefit of the doubt, and as well as Kate Otten, because I took their unders last week, and they proved me wrong, okay? So when they prove me wrong, I look deeper into it of like, why did I get this wrong? Whenever I lose a bet, I always look into it, and I'm like, why did I get this wrong? I was wrong that Baker... Um, pretty much what I thought last week is they're not going to look as good without Mike Evans or without, uh, Chris Godwin, because they, they just got out in the same game. That's why I said last week, um, I took the unders, these guys sailed over. Okay. Baker came back. He threw for about the same amount of pass yards that he did last week. Um, the, the weeks prior and stuff like that. Baker's the real deal. I'm taking his over here. And then Kate Otten, if you guys remember Kate Otten's line last week, I remember all these things. His line last week was 52 and a half. Okay, so his line last week was 52 and a half. He comes out and he puts up 81 yards. So why, when his line was 52 and a half and he puts up 81 yards, why did his line fall to 47.5? Now I know it's like, well, now he's playing. Now he's playing Kansas City versus the Falcons. That doesn't mean too much to me. The only thing that I would consider is if Baker is not playing from behind. When Baker is playing from behind, he's going to be throwing a lot, and he's definitely going to be playing from behind versus the Chiefs because the Chiefs, as we know, I mean they're the best team. Is anyone going to say anything like they're undefeated, right? They're undefeated. So playing from behind means a lot more pass yards. That's why I'm taking Baker and Kate on together. So this is one of those. This is a great play right here. This is a great play. It is a fun one. High-flying duos right here. We got Josh Hoover, Jack Betch, Baker Mayfield, Kate Otten, okay? So this is the last play right here. Again, you guys can go back in the video and find the other plays um, because I went over all of them. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys catch that one on Wednesday. Let's look out for cashing that Flex Friday one as well. If you miss the 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 most likely one to miss is the Jackson Dart Trey. Uh, the, I keep saying Trey Harris. The Jackson Dart and uh, Caden Lee one because this one's starting at at 11 a.m. Central Time. If you guys missed it, go back and tail that Tennessee or um, this Tennessee one is a good duo, and then this USC one is also a good duo. Again, I'm favoring the unders for a lot of a lot of these games uh, tomorrow. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in tomorrow's video.